Hello, friends. I'm Pastor Joe. Obviously, if you saw my golf swing, I am not a golfer. Today is Monday, and I have your word for the day. Now, I understand this about golfing. When you hit a ball and it's headed toward another golfer some distance away, it is proper etiquette to yell, FOUR! That gives other golfers the chance to duck and cower or hide or scan the sky for your errant ball. But if you never yell four, people don't have the chance to get ready. Have you ever wondered why the first disciples followed Jesus the moment he called to them? As soon as Jesus' ministry became public, he invited 12 men to give up their lives and follow him, and they did. Why did they do it so easily? Well, I think it's because these men had advanced warning to get ready. I believe they had time to think about what a life devoted to God was going to look like. Today we kick off our Word for the Day series in which we will walk through the Gospel of Mark. And today we're looking at John the Baptist from Mark chapter 1 verses 1 through 8. Let's read this passage together. This is the good news about Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. It began just as the prophet Isaiah had written. Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, and he will prepare your way. He is a voice shouting in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the Lord's coming. Clear the road for him. This messenger was John the Baptist. He was in the wilderness and preached that people should be baptized to show they had repented of their sins and turned to God to be forgiven. All of Judea, including all the people of Jerusalem, went out to see and hear John. And when they confessed their sins, he baptized them in the Jordan River. His clothes were woven from coarse camel hair and he wore a leather belt around his waist. For food, he ate locusts and wild honey. John announced, Someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I'm not even worthy to stoop down like a slave and untie the straps of his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Now, all of Judea, all of Jerusalem had gone out to see and hear John the Baptist. And if they confessed their sins, John baptized them in the Jordan River. Did you hear what John the Baptist's message was all about? He was pointing everybody to Jesus. He said, prepare the way, clear the road for him. And when Jesus came around and called the disciples, they went with him. Do you know that our lives are to clear the way for other people to follow Jesus too? I don't think God wants us to wear clothes of camel hair and eat locusts and wild honey. But in Havasu, he has called us to the desert to clear the way for people to follow him. And it's not done by shouting. We don't clear the way by putting obstacles in their path of religiousness and churchiness and good works. We clear the way for others by loving others so much. They see God's love for them in our actions and by the way we treat them. So I want to encourage you, be like John the Baptist. Point to Jesus today by your love and watch people begin to follow him too. If today's word for the day has blessed you, apply it, like it, share it, and leave a comment. God bless.